Hey, uh, this is going to be a video about some a video I made about water bottles, craft service, and um, how you manage water bottles on set. Now, in my course, I tell people to have water bottles, like buy boxes of water bottles, and um, to keep a sharpie by it and a masking tape so that people can write their name on the bottle. Or, well, I didn't say masking tape, but this is going to be. We're going to talk about this in a minute. So that was a few years ago, and even at that point, I was reluctant to say get water bottles because there are too many plastic water bottles being disposed of. So this is a little bit of a PSA and another workaround, and the advantages to a workaround for this, even uh, for the producer. So uh, what I recommend, there are two things you can do. You can ask people, can you bring your own bottle, and we will give you some masking tape, and you can write your name on it so that we'll have a station for filling your water, and just make sure it's a sealable bottle that doesn't leak. In case it tips over because you don't want it to uh, get on equipment or an actor's outfit or something like that, or a hot set. So this is what you would do for you know, just have somebody put a masking tape on. The other thing you could do, depending on your budget, is, and I've seen this and I've experienced it too, where you get maybe a mug where it's very sealable, like, you know, a plastic drinking vessel like this, or I, I have one from a store called Wegmans, which um, if you tip it over, it's not going to spill. It does, because I've done it. I've done it a ton of times, and if it's sealed, it won't spill water so or coffee or whatever you have in there so that's probably good because people tend to drink coffee on set as well as water so then you're not using all this disposable stuff on set that saves you money with disposables it saves you money on water bottles because here's the most irritating thing it's not the most irritating thing but it's super annoying to have somebody drink that much water from a regular water bottle and then you're throwing it out and they didn't write their name on it and or it's a one day shoot and still they're like not taking it home with them they're just wasted a bottle and a ton of water and uh, I would much rather see um, these kind of plastic bottles on um, set so if they forget it one day you can give it back to them the next day but people will be more careful with them if they, they know that's what they're getting and that's that. I mean obviously still have some sort of cup on set in case somebody forgets something one day. I'm talking about multi-day shoots as well as one day shoots but you know it's just a good idea to kind of try to minimize that. It saves you money, it helps the planet and then they get to walk away with if you get them a mug that says like such and such you know movie then it says you know it like lets them be like kind of put it out there as like yeah it's a conversation starter for them it puts your movie and your name of your movie out there more maybe if they go to screenings I don't know like they'll be drinking that in the movie theater instead of again buying another water bottle and it encourages people to you know continue to reuse you know a drinking vessel rather than buying water bottles buying water bottles and you know if it is a one day shoot and people forget it just make sure you get back to them and give it back to them if they forget it most people are pretty good about that though if it's theirs and if it's a high quality thing they are going to be more aware of that so I just wanted to share that because and I'm going to still leave that lesson up but I'm adding this to the course because um, it's something that I think is really important that we stop using plastic as much as possible and be aware of that and if you're somebody who is a crew member I'm going to encourage you if your set is only having disposable water bottles bring your bottle put your name on it and or, I mean it should, if it's like a distinctive bottle you shouldn't even need to but just be like just make sure it doesn't leak and just keep it somewhere safe and, and remember it at the end of the day. And then you can help be a part of minimizing plastic in this world. So I am just putting that out there. And I thank you for listening to my <laughs> environmental you know, talk. Because seriously, I'm just going to finish up by saying... Um, <laughs> sorry about my thumb. I'm going to finish up by saying... I. Uh, have worked on sets, really big sets, where there's so much waste on sets, okay? Where it's just insane. I'm sorry I keep doing that. Um, I should be using my handhold, right, that I reviewed a few days ago, and I'm not. Um, like, food gets tossed. It is legally, it is illegal in California if you're working for, say, ABC. Um, I was, uh, that was like my first job out in LA, and it was like, um, 
you know, I was like not working for much. I was an assistant to an actress and, um, you know, I could have, they tossed out a bunch of gorgeous sushi and, um, and they had to legally, they couldn't let me or any other PA take it home. They had to toss it. And I don't know if they are giving that to homeless now. I think they should like people who don't have food, but even like on my like low budget salary, that would have come in really handy and watching it just get tossed perfectly good food just seemed like just wasteful. And there's tons of that that goes on. And it's sort of the nature of the beast of film production, but there are things we can do to minimize that. And that's all I'm going to say today. What are your ideas for minimizing waste on set? I would love to hear them because I'm always looking to improve my own methodology and make things more efficient and make things more um, energy friendly, environmentally friendly. So I would love to hear your ideas. Please leave a comment below and give me some thoughts. Give me, share with me your brilliance. And um, also, if you like this video, please, you know, click the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching. I will see you soon.